fresh in from Iro today, we've got the Iro Aviator 3, the successor to the famous Aviator 2.3 on our table. So stick around as we take a look at what Iro have changed and what they've kept the same in our review. Sebastian from Champion Helmets here and the Iro Aviator 3 full face helmet is the newest off-road helmet from Iro meant to take you off the beaten track. This helmet is the successor to the Iro Aviator 2.3 AMSS and Iro have skipped the other 0.7 to get to where we are now. The Iro Aviator 3 features all the same premium features of its predecessors, but it has also improved on all of them by integrating improved aerodynamics, ventilation, a hydration system, and the new Iro AMS Squared Plus safety system. Since the Iro Aviator line is among the best motocross helmets available, this helmet will be coming at a recommended retail price of about 570 euros or 680 US dollars for the regular composite version and 900 euros for the primal carbon fiber version here. The helmet will also be competing with the Shoei VFX WR, Bell Moto 9 Flex, Alpine Stars SM10, and the Climb F5. Before we go further in our review, don't forget to subscribe to our YouTube channel to stay up to date on our latest data driven helmet road tests, where we take the helmet out on the road and actually bring you back the data and the facts. The Iro Aviator 3 AMS squared motorcycle helmet is now offered in two outer shell materials, carbon 3K or high performance composite. This means that riders get a greater choice in the weight of their helmet since the carbon fiber version is substantially lighter than other composites since you need less of it to achieve the same level of strength. The helmet will be coming ECE 2205 certified and it has an intermediate oval fit and the Aviator 3 also features an additional improvement since it is now offered in four outer shell sizes other than the previous two which shows Iro really gunning for that premium segment. These shell sizes are distributed across XS and S, M, L and XL to XXL and this means that the helmet will provide a better and a more proportional fit which means the helmet is more lightweight and less bulky, all good things for improving both safety and comfort for off-road riding. For weight, the standard Aviator 3 comes in weighing in at about 1420 grams in a size M or 3 pounds 3 ounces, which is about 400 grams heavier than the Aviator 2.3. Though this gap will definitely close with the 3K carbon Aviator on the scale, we are getting a weight increase, most likely as a result of these extra features and tougher construction that we have going into the helmet. Thanks to wind tunnel testing, I have improved the Aviator 3's thermodynamics to optimize ventilation. I've got the older Aviator 2.3 here on the table as well, and you can already see the difference. This redesign means that the helmet will offer even better ventilation than before with six air vents and spoilers with integrated extractors. First, you're getting a large vent in the chin with a dust filter, just like before, but you now have this new mesh covering for durability and you also no longer have those small cutaway vents in the chin bar since these have moved closer up here to the visor. They also come with their own mesh cover. In the brow, Iro have also adjusted the venting with a more forward positioning of the vents to help bring in more air. Turning the aviators around, you also do get a more aerodynamic set of exhaust vents than the previous version, which will also help with venting. You can also see that on the back you're getting a similar sized exhaust, though in this slightly different housing, and the exhaust vent under the neck roll has been redesigned as well. One thing you may have noted as well while we're running through these features is the greater number of screws on the Aviator 3, which will improve on durability and also further improve on the Aviator helmet. So we're getting a massive ventilation redesign here while also making sure that the helmet will in fact stand up to the road. Since the Iro Aviator 3 helmet is for off-roading, it does not come with a visor. However, the visor aperture is still large and can easily and comfortably accommodate a pair of off-road goggles, and Iro have made the nose piece of the helmet as well slightly less pointed compared to the predecessor, which will make fitting goggles easier and the general aerodynamics have been improved. In this vein, the peak of the helmet has been redesigned and will be more stable while riding, with new cutouts in the center along the middle, and it is slightly longer actually to provide better protection from the sun. However, the Iro also comes with an additional peak extension in the box to make it even longer. The peak is adjustable thanks to the thumb screws at the top, and all you have to do is simply loosen them and move the peak for where you need it to be. 
The interior of the Aviator 3 has also received some major updates, but still offers the same comfortable fit for even the most extreme conditions. The liner is removable, washable, and is hypoallergenic, and to make the liner removable as simple as possible, the helmet includes Iro's magnetic lining system. For additional comfort as well, the Aviator also uses the new Iro hydration system to allow riders to take a drink while out in the dirt. One last new feature before taking out the liner is that the helmet also now comes with the updated Iro Multi-Action Safety System, or AMS Squared, Plus. This means that you have impact and rotational force dampening materials between the outer shell and the EPS that will absorb impacts better, and the updates have allowed for better ventilation, safety, and improved comfort. Going back to that magnetic liner system, this definitely makes taking everything out a breeze since all you need to do is pull the different pieces out. First up are the cheek pads, which you can see are perforated for airflow and are emergency quick release. With them out, you can see the blue toggles that will hold the hose of your hydration system, and you can then take out the interior liner, which is also perforated and held in with magnets. You'll get plenty of airflow from the vents up front, and the EPS also has a good number of holes to let the air out. The helmet has a double D-ring chin strap, as you can see, and though there are no speaker pockets, you should also get plenty of space to add your communicator of choice. Lastly, in this section all on their own, we come to the accessories that Iro are now giving you, and it is miles ahead of what we were getting with the Aviator 2.3. In the 2.3, you got a screwdriver, exhaust covers, adhesive GoPro mount, some plugs for the front vents, a peak extension, and a few screws and thumb screws thrown in. While this was quite a bit, you're now getting even more with the Aviator 3. You're now getting these same items as before, so you are getting that GoPro mount, screwdriver, vent covers for the front, as well as vent covers for the back, and a peak extension, but you also get substantially more screws, a short nose cover, a set of bumpers for the sides. So if you do expect things to get tough out there, you can always add the bumpers to help keep the helmet and you safe. The peak extension also looks much more sturdy, which is also good to see. If you'd like to learn more about the Iro Aviator 3, then make sure to check out championhelmets.com where we have our lowest price guarantee and plenty of bundle deals, including a matching pair of cross boots. The Iro Aviator 3 represents a great blend of improvement while also keeping the same great features that made the Aviator 2.3 AMS so popular. Though we are now getting a new hydration system, renewed ventilation, and even better aerodynamics, not to mention a better servicing kit. So this is an overall better package that really takes this helmet to the next level. If you liked the video, then make sure to subscribe and check out our data-driven helmet road tests where we take helmets out on the road and actually measure their performance. And if you have any questions, make sure to leave them in the comments down below. I'm Sebastian from Champion Helmets, and thanks for watching.